Here we are at the Gammon Ranges at the start of the walk for Andrew, Joe and Stuart. Just arrived after about a nine hour drive for the Ranger Station. Staying in there. A few emus wandering around and seen some eagles and lizards today. Getting back at the station over the cattle yards. Solar array. Some he missed no babies though. Apparently we saw babies before but I missed them. We've arrived after the most terrifying football drive trip <laughs> ever known to man. We didn't know we had the did very well. well. Kept us all alive. <laughs> we might even let him join our The cupcakes are safe. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going that away. Probably where that road goes, I suppose. Up a creek branch to tonight's thing. Very good. Very spectacular countryside, although we're in a bit of a bowl here, we can't see it. And the time check is what, about 10 o'clock or something? Past, quarter past, past ten. ten. Very good. <laughs> it's McKinley Bluff where we'll be in our last night. Follow it down to the right. And you'll see that eventually it cuts in front of that other scarp. Oh yeah. That's the way you go. Up and down if you come up to the creek. Oh, first photo. Good. There's the creek that we're going to walk up today. Cliffed Peak. Tomorrow, in two days' time, maybe perhaps. Here we are in the creek. Tree, a few pines and, and gums on the creek. A little depression in the river. A mini gorge. At about what is it, about one o'clock or something? Twenty to one. Twenty to one. Already had lunch. Andrew's been back to the car again. He forgot his lipstick or something. <laughs> and he brought back 15 litres of water as well. He went down a shower. <laughs> <laughs> he drove back to the camp site. And we're just watching the animals. There's a last trickle of water there which we couldn't drink, hence Andrew went back. The corellas are coming in. Having his nightly drink.
about 8am. Driving. Coming out from the... Around there. Possibly Mount McKinley. And Cliff Peak where we're going tomorrow. See our campground down there, or a camping spot down there. Wallflower Creek going up that way. Which we'll go tomorrow. The Whitey Main Road is there. Mount Mitchell, the last day. That's the junction of the south branch and the north branch of the Itawadi walk through. Creek. That's where we parked the car past that red hill. So probably about there. In the far distance is the saltwater lake, Lake Frome. Massive. We continue onwards and upwards. Top, I guess. Very windy. John Roberts, remember that time? Jack? Yeah. Okay, five and six for the tedious trek. How heavy was the knife and the pack fully loaded with hiking blinkers? Uh, how heavy? 27. Higher. Whoa, wow. 33. No, lower. that hill somewhere. Up a ridge, we've had a nap. Some of us, some of us are here for walking. Some of us are here hey. for other reasons. Hey, <laughs> I'm sick. Josie, still like getting it. over those that shandy she had at the pub on the way here. <laughs> I don't. towards John Roberts where we were this morning over the back there. We came up the ridge there. Up, up, up. It's a bit cooler now. Today's supposed to be the last hot day. This is the branch where we're keeping um, camping at. We go up here on the left and that cliff peak tomorrow. down this somewhere Here we are day three an hour in nine o'clock wallflower creek up a wallflower creek very nice heading to our camp spot and then we'll go up a cliff to 
peak. But today is cooler. Yep, 36. 36, yeah. Flowering gum. Right, lemon smell. Continuing our walk up the creek with the lovely grass trees. Red, red rocks. I've seen some roos today, but that's about all. A few finches twittering in the distance. Just at the saddle at the top of Wildfire Creek. It's John Roberts from yesterday. The cliff peaks that direction somewhere. But we're on this saddle, which we've climbed up to. And on the other side somewhere, this Rover rock hole. Wow, look at that. So that might be Prowl Peak too, maybe. No, that's um, no? that's Santa Hill. Santa Hill. <coughs> I'm hoping for a rock hole down here somewhere. Just down there. Near the cliffs, you reckon, or straight down? Um, well, the gorge goes through where the cliffs are. Yep. Is it in the gorge, the rock hole? We're at the. Uh, Coming to the bottom of that drop off the saddle after more than two and a half hours. Very, very nice. If you're going to fall over tea, can you do it while the video's on? Just let me know. Um, I'm going to go now see if there is water here. I'm going to climb up some dry waterfall to check. Up that away somewhere, Rover water hole. Yeah, we're walking along a couple of hundred metres to look for the dry waterfall to climb to find the water. There's certainly none here so far. It's an old water hole, presumably. A little bit of water. Doesn't look too flush, though. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Beautiful. Rock walls. Red. I haven't gone up a waterfall yet, so it's probably not the one. Here's the uh, waterfall to climb up. Beautiful. Feels like Sacred Valley or something. Probably was. Nice, eh? Absolutely spectacular. Well, I guess we better go up. I'm sort of halfway up. You wouldn't want to do it in the wet, it's like glass the rock. Beautiful. Here's our water filtration system. The tabs. The ladder. And the thing pond. There's some tadpoles in there. Pretty deep. Not deep, but it's pretty big. Beautiful upper water hole as well. Birds, finches, not finches, but little birds coming in to feed. Lovely. Fantastic. It's a different angle on the upper water hole and how beautiful it is here. Rover water hole. Lots of little finches coming in. Nice little dragon, on our way down from the waterfall. Yellow neck. Don't know 
water collection. We've had lunch down the bottom. We've got to back up to that bridge. We're going to a big cleft peak over there. I reckon. Possibly walking along that bridge up to there. I'm will tell. Grass tree city around here. So nice. Might be going up that ridge there to the top. We'll see. side and camping down there where our packs are. There's the ridge over. Like frame in of English. John Roberts, Sedman Ridge. Here's where we started, Red Hill. And um, that's the Itawadi River. Junction, perhaps, or, or close to, or maybe that's Wildflower Creek. Awesome. Hello, little mini dragon. Very, very tiny. Fit in a pack of matches. Okay, night three, we're about a kilometre down from the waterhole. The cliff peak, we we're all very tired. The downhill was pretty huge. So here's a uh, dinner. Use your bushwalker thing, some deb, some garlic, salt and coffee. We've been sleeping out every night. He's one of the other residents. Joe's been hardcore too, slept out every night. You did last night, didn't you? I did. Good. I haven't missed a night. Very good. Didn't get scared. But then gave my socks told me I'd done a really good job at deterring them, so crazy <laughs> That's right. Here's the fireplace. We'll arc up soon. And here's Tent Boy. Come on. That's down there. Very good. Lovely spot. 
about five o'clock. Day four, 9 a.m. start. We went and got some more water at the water hole. It's running a bit late. We've just been walking 10 minutes or so from the camp uh, campsite. This beautiful lit wall. Fantastic. Did three and a half hours walking yesterday to the campsite and three hours up and down Cliff Peak. Some more gorgeous canyon views, morning lit. Stunning. <clears throat> Can't help doing a bit more. Very stony walking. This is Yeah, that's beautiful little chasm. Better and better. We made it up, step up. The bath, apparently. Taking the packs off and just doing a little side trip up Fern Chasm to a waterfall. Good stuff. And these might be the ferns of Fern Chasm. Not really fern, they're very soft. This chasm number one, I guess. Out the start of the terraces, out of Fern Chasm. Just really just out. Let's see how we go. Another waterfall climb. <laughs> And you've made it. Get my pack off. Is the rest of it from there for you? Okay, we're up cliff number one. And continuing. Very spectacular. Hence the terraces. Yep. We're going out lunch at a very rare water spot. Wraps and cheese and Vegemite. Suit and salmon. And wasabi. And wasabi. <laughs> so we're at the top of the terraces. Continues the climb up. It's very specky. Scale, what we just climbed up. Yeah, it's amazing. Fairly big rock skink. Wow, From tip to tail bigger than my hand. Come on, out you come. that step up we just did. Lizards were just there. Let's do a little bit of a walk along. There's been very little water this trip but these rocky terraces are holding water quite well. And there's tadpoles in there too. Probably because they wouldn't necessarily get a lot of sun during the day. And they are rock. Across another one of these dragons with the orange 
Nick. Reasonably small. It's not too worried about people. Okay. Next is lots of rocky ledges that the lizards are pretty happy here. trees. It's fantastic. And the jumble which makes it hard to walk. There's another dragon. This is a heaven around here. See a skink. Turn the video off in a second so I don't fall flat on my face, but more and more. Incredible. Beautiful scenery. Continuing along. Andrew looking for handhold preps. Are you climbing, Andrew? Sorry? Is that climbing? I guess we go up here. Oh, Amazing. We saw Andrew on video a second ago. This is the way up. Around that edge. At the top of that cl climb. Hey. We're at the top of that climb. What do you reckon? I, I don't like it at all. A bit too much. Nice. How many have we been up, you reckon? Maybe six, yeah. Packs off with a lot of them. Climbing, yeah, slow going today. We're only doing about, doing about 7k in six or so hours today. Yeah. And continuing, I probably can't get an idea of the height. But, um, walk up, walk up, walk up. It's called the terraces. Very, very beautiful. And we continue. I think we're getting near the top of the terraces. Maybe our last climb. Still some water here. Massive bird poo, like eagles or something. Yeah. Nesting here. Hey, this rock's a little koala symbol. Uh oh, might be another climb. And it continues. Any uh, thoughts? <laughs> we should have been counting. Okay. We should have been counting. Yeah. Uh, 12, isn't it? 12, okay, we think. Another one. Another one. Oh, Mother Nature. You can stop. <laughs> it's too much. We climb up and get to the top and find we're not at the top. We're halfway. Yeah, I can't get rid of my 
All right, we're up the next one, and um, we estimate we've done about three kilometres in over five hours. So we're hoping the uh, we're only about halfway. It's late, probably 3:30 or something. So we're hoping the next lot of kilometres is quicker, or we'll be camping out somewhere else. Crashing our way to the scrub now. Next river that goes down to the rock. Here's a Andrew. Okay. How long we've we been going and how many k? Three k's. Three k's. And we've been going for six and a half hours. Good. Hey, this beats the Tassie record. Doesn't it? No, was it, it six does. hours for 2k? It's, it's a good thing that we picked a very unambitious route. What was the Tassie rec previous record? That was to go all day for 4k on the plateau. <coughs> yeah, but all day was like a yeah. six hours, it wasn't an eight. Was it? I got a feeling it was 2k actually. You might be right, it might have been less. Maybe we haven't beat the record. So, so yee hee, six hours and we're halfway. We should make camp. Should make camp by tomorrow night. I reckon we'll get there before we get started. Because we only got a bit more scrub to go through and then we start into another, another creek. creek, which apparently is fairly unadventurous. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. So did you hear that? Unadventurous, downhill, probably walking boards to walk on, yep. and cold beer at the end. I've got it on video and we'll, we'll <laughs> record the true result later. What's the actual time? You won't mind piggybacking me. No, hell no. Is it like no, four o'clock or something? Sorry, Sorry, now it's ten past three. Ten past three, oh, okay. We'll make camp at four. Now in a massive, very scrubby creek side, bush back down into the next. I don't know, there's no track or anything. We're just sort of bashing through and hoping we get somewhere. There may be waterfall or anything to block us, so we shall see. First sign of the new river. All the way down, down there somewhere, but I think we're getting there. Okay. Rock Hole Junction. Just walked in. A beautiful spot too. We're in 5:15. Walk in the park. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. So what did we estimate? Six kilometres total. Five. Five k total. Eight hours fifteen. We didn't stop that much either. Campsite after a hard day. Mammy, Joe, Andrew. I've got a bit of a fireplace happening over here too. That's the uh, water hole. Truly spectacular. <laughs> oh, Cliff Peak in the distance. Day five after lunch. Way up again, camping down the gully down there, going up Mount McKinley over there. We hope. We hope. See how we go. Right. It took us four hours to get to the campsite. <laughs> Rock off. Okay, Mount McKinley. McKinley Bluff, anyway. <coughs> Be the best view of the lot. Make frame.
Amazing. It's got a pound of wool, I suppose. Just look in the, in the log book, uh, which is in there. Any sort of three parties a season, which is April, May, and then September, basically. August, September. Sign the log book, anyway. It's um, not many. Uh, and Red Hill, that's where we started the walk. I'll take some video from the other side shortly. Blowy, but not too cold. Flinders Ranges in the distance, I would guess. Good spot to show the cliffs on the bluff. It's down a long, long way. <laughs> it's a real jagged edge walking. There's plenty of room on that side, but it's interesting how uplifted it is. View to the north now, looking at Cleft Peak, which is a fair bit lower than this one. I'm trying to fall off the edge while we're videoing. But, um, uh, also, just in terms of where we are tonight, so we camping there at the bottom of the where the river comes out and we came up this ridge here and followed it up 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 and along beautiful all the shading this time of day a bit more of the park Yep. Um, okay, we just got trying to get Andrew on the video. There he is. Yep. Joe's here somewhere too. Last campsite of the walking bit of the trip. We're down the hill. But uh, at five o'clock, did we say it was five thirty? 5.30, started at 8 today, so it's a biggie. Whew. That's the ridge we came off at the end. Day 6, I've been walking out for a couple of hours. Red Hill, John Roberts, Crags, Cliff Peak. Kinley Bluff, there we go. And we just hit a bit of a vehicle track for the first time in six days. And we're looking for the car, it won't be far away. On the edge of that big river, the Itawadi River. It won't be long. Yeah, we're getting near the end of this one. We could see you at that first really high point, is that right? Yeah, so that must be what happened, then I had to go to the middle one or whatever. Yeah. Very deceiving from the side we were on, isn't it? It looks really innocuous. Yeah. First side of the car. Day walking bunyip chasm. Got some 
Yeah. All the warnings. Now walking in Bunyip Chasm. It took us less than two hours to get out this morning. Continuing up. Finally, a lizard joins us. I can find him. Hey. Oh, yeah. Cool spot him. Oh, I heard him uh, rustling the leaves. See if he wants a little drink of water. Can't imagine. Probably smell the water. Mm. If um, if he wasn't scared, he would not He would add salmon. Here we go, just while we're sitting here having lunch. Nice. Is it? Here's our last night in luxury. Look at that, even chips. chips. Where's the other stuff? Booze! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you didn't tell me there was stout. Yeah, two stouts. I've been here for an over an hour and you haven't told me about this stout. Andrew's got some dog wrapping on his foot. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got... Yeah. A cask of Rawson's Retreat. Is that South Australian? Uh, probably. Good. There we go. Probably. It's a Grindle's Hut. I don't think we'd be living in the lap of luxury. So, we'll someone's embarrassed hut. us by having a shower. Okay, after cleaning out all the alcohol at the hut last night, now Saturday morning, and we parked the car in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> try, we're going to go and try and find some Aboriginal rock carvings. <laughs> Apparently flat and not rocky, which you're all looking forward to, not rocky. And just for the record, I'm the best four-wheel driver. Uh, without Andrew a penis. Said, without a penis. Those words have passed my lips yet. Andrew said it. If he didn't say it, he meant it. Oh, I think he you had... it. You popped my phone out of my pocket you were driving so badly before. <laughs> that says something. Did secure. I pop your phone out of your pocket? No. I think uh, the person who buys me the most drinks tonight gets the best four-wheel driver. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very broad riverbank here. Beautiful river. Trees. Looking for a, I'm walking in the bush looking for a stumpy tail. Continuing along. No lizards. Looks like a rocky oak crop that we're looking for. Maybe not the one though. We think this is the uh, formation Andrew said he's just found. one here that could be a turtle or a flying fox or something. It's like a claw. Just a arrowy thing. Hmm. Looks like the people. Uh, where were they? Man or something. Some hand prints or footprints or something. And a little cute wallaby. This one on this side, yeah, it's like feet. a seashell, isn't it? Lovely willy work tails flying around everywhere, catching flies, presumably. 
Oop, seen a million of these on the trip. All on the road though, none. That's a beautiful room at Parachilna Pub, Prairie Hotel. Fantastic. What luxury after our trip. Public area, uh, the um, area for the people with rooms. Yeah, it's a lovely tin animals, sheep, and. Fantastic. Go out in the main. Mm -hmm. Nice touch. Is that good? Yes, it is. Isn't it? Yeah. How's the shower been? Yeah, great. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Prairie Hotel. Fantastic. Our mystery friends. <coughs> Just off the highway, some accommodation, workers' accommodation, and other accommodation. Not much looking west. Not much in the main street. That's the town name, Para Chilna. Very good. That's it, nearly, nearly over. Well, for some of us, Joe's got plans for tonight. Yeah, party hard. Locals. <laughs> Adelaide locals. I've slipped in my room number and key. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. That's spectacular sunset. Here we are, we got our dinner. Now look how huge that view is. Goat is the biggest. Yep. And what have you got to? I have King George Whiting. Oh, boo hiss. How unadventurous. Yeah, I know. There's I got fish and chips in our caught, caught in the desert. At the waterhole. Mm. Fantastic. End of trip.